I don't really know that I'm an opera star. I'm very young and I just started, but like everything goes very well, so I'm very happy. But if it comes to the, 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 like the beginnings, to be honest, I didn't like opera at all. So I didn't know what to do with my life when I was in my high school because my whole family, they're like visual artists. So painters, graphic designers and architects and uh, I really tried something to going this way but I was horrible and uh, so I decided to like go to the music university to be better at my ensemble and then I kind of fell in love with this with this baroque period and singing as a countertenor and and like I don't know exploring and experimenting with with this with this type of voice the, the countertenor voice and I like it I love it now Yes, it's the highest male voice. So it's just the matter of actually finding the the right things and like the right technique to develop your voice and then you have to like of course work on your like the volume, the technique, the flexibility and, and every aspect of your of your voice. But actually every man can be a countertenor if they want, if they choose. <laughs> When I didn't know what to do with my life, I decided to just like, you know, like go to the music university to be better in my ensemble. And also I was a huge, and still am, huge fan of the King Singers. So that's like one of the best, best, uh, you know, vocal ensembles. And, uh, and I thought like maybe one day, who knows, I will sing an audition to be one of them. But then I went to the university, I started solo singing and I thought like this is something that I feel is really, really for me. Ah, it's tricky, it's tricky because I'm, I, first of all, I'm, I'm a singer and I do break dance, but I would not, not necessarily say that like I'm a break dancing counter tenor or like, you know, breaking pop baroque thing, but I've never actually accomplished anything huge in, in breaking. I won some competitions, but those were like local competitions. I just love this culture and those people, the music and, and just the the dancing like it's it's freedom for me and it really kind of gives a lot to to my kind of mental health and also it just kind of grounds me in and like it puts me puts me back on earth when when you know this classical world can be can be tough This is amazing to be in this house. I mean, it's it's great because I love Handel and uh, I love Baroque music in general because it. I really found something, this freedom in Baroque music. So like when you have an aria written by Handel, usually it's a aria da capo, so it means you have the A section, you sing it, you go to the B section, and then you go back to the A section again, and you are allowed to do ornaments and like you like put your embellishments. So I know like within those rules, you have so much freedom. So like you can really put yourself into that work and it, then it's yours. Of course, Handel wrote it, but then you really, can feel the character and be that character. But yeah, I really, really enjoy singing Handel and actually being in this house is really, really nice. I mean, it's amazing to like wander around those like, you know, pictures and then the portraits of, of like people which actually worked with Handel and like, like Senesino, like performed like majority of his roles. He wrote, Handel wrote, roles for him, for this, for this singer. So it's amazing to like actually, you know, walk around and see. But that's supposed to be one chord. Silencio. Whew, there are a lot of roles that I want to do, still want to do, like, Orlando, mm, but I don't know, like I jumped over all of my dreams, like 
a few years ago. So like now I just have open arms and I take whatever whatever like happens, I'm super happy and I, I have no expectations and that's why maybe I'm really happy all the time, <laughs> almost all the time. <laughs> no, but really like I, I, I like a lot of things are happening and they're happening in a, in a good direction and I'm really, really happy with all the things that I'm doing. So, so everything is cool.